Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the March 6, 2017 meeting of the Ware Board of Selectmen. We started at 6.30 with a non-public to talk with a taxpayer about an abatement that they had. And now I ask everyone to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I would ask everyone to join us in the moment of silence. open for public comment. Uh, Frank Campana, I, I don't quite know how to comment on this without getting some response from the board, but uh, here goes. Uh, I, I, have, uh, I have a copy of um, February 6th meeting minutes. Uh, it is a draft but uh, I, I feel it's accurate. And my, my comment is uh, I, I've asked before uh, in, in regards to um, the, the phrase, uh, in regards to the budget uh, that's going to be on the, uh, on, on the ballot and uh, the selectmen's displeasure with uh, having less money uh, from a, uh, you know, an amended proposed budget. Uh, and the comment was made by the uh, by the selectmen, uh, or, or agreed upon by the selectmen, and probably will be carried into the uh, mailer. Um, the proposed budget was amended to uh, to include, and then there's a period, so I, I don't know what went after that. Uh, but the key the key phrase is does not adequately provide for safety services, and uh, I, I did make a comment. At a couple of meetings ago uh, that uh, you know to me that's an opinion and uh, th there was a response from that that uh, probably um, you know you, you might uh, the lawyer that particular language uh, might have been run past the lawyer uh, in regards to you know spending public money for um, uh, for something other than facts you know for opinions instead of facts so my comment is uh, here here it is a month uh, just month of the day that uh, that that amendment was approved and has the board up till now and, and again I, I listen to I come to a lot of meetings I don't stay to the very end uh, but uh, ha has the board discussed uh, that type of phrase does not adequately provide for for services to know where uh, what services might be in jeopardy. I believe yeah. it was discussed and that phrase is not going to appear in the mailer. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. Well, well um, okay. Maybe I'll have to save the rep. Maybe I'll have to save again. Uh, again, my, my question whether wasn't if the phrase was going to be there or not, but I appreciate that. Uh, you know that information, but it, it was my my comment was more to the point. If if the board, I mean, even though the phrase isn't there, the board could still feel the services, safety services will um, uh, would, will not adequately be provided for. So uh, I, again, you know, does does the board have any any idea what services might suffer uh, as opposed to something else? Yeah. Uh, we won't be specific on that until after we find out which budget passes. Okay. However, uh, if the proposed budget, as it was changed at deliberative, passes, then obviously the biggest cuts, because of the biggest budgets, would come out of police, fire, and highway. Okay. Uh, hopefully, we could find a way to distribute it equally percentage-wise, but those definitely would be the the. Uh, Departments that have the larger amounts taken from their budgets. Right, and and I would expect that, and and I would expect certainly that you wait till after the vote to see what you you know what you're going to end up with. But again, that phrase was made 
you know, a month ago. Um, and, you know, and, and to make a phrase like that, there should be some idea of, you know, what might be cut. Um, so, uh, so I'm satisfied with, uh, you know, with the response and you heard my comment. So, thank you. Any other public comment? Department head committee items. I'd ask Benji to come from last week. You guys got a letter from a resident. Did you bring the letter? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He wasn't on here, but I talked to him today. Yep, that's fine. So I guess you guys got it and read it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, want me to reread it? Or if you'd no. like. Okay, so do we got to. Do you know you know who it's from? No, not other than the same signature. Fred okay, Davis. so you didn't get to talk to anybody. No, I didn't. Regards. No one called me. Um, this isn't the first time I've heard displeasure when a road gets paved and someone else's doesn't. You know, when I was in a public establishment a couple months ago here in town, and on my own time on the weekend, <laughs> someone was spouting off that I was doing that hey, we pay private roads. Of course, they didn't know who I was and they didn't know who they were. And, I said, private roads, the town paid private roads? I said, yeah. I said, well, which ones? I said, well, Mount William Pond. I said, that's not a private road, that's a public road. Well, might as well be his dead end. I just let it go. I didn't want to, you know, ruin. But something like that, you know, if any of those people are watching, if you told five people and they tell five people, that gets around town, that's not true. So I'll explain this one. It says, dear selectman, why is the highway department paving people's driveways instead of repairing our roads? Our road, River Road, on the new Boston end has needed repair for about 15 years. I'm not going to argue that. About four years ago, part of the road by Colby Road was shimmed, but the highway department did not do anything about the potholes on the end of the road by New Boston. Other roads have been paved, but not ours. The highway department patches some of the holes sometimes but those patches do not last. I'm not going to argue that either. Sometimes a, large, sometimes a large pothole is there for weeks before they patch it. I would argue that. I think that we get out there in a timely manner. Dodging potholes is hard, and when it rains or snows, we can't tell what is a pothole until the tire hits it. That's also a true statement. The large trucks with 22-inch wheels drive down the middle of the road. Maybe they don't want to hit the potholes. They make, they make most of the potholes. We should be able to walk on River Road, but it is dangerous because the trucks drive too fast and the cars try to drive around the potholes. Did you know the highway department paved some of, of the driveways on Deerhaven Road? I think our taxes should be spent to repair potholes and the roads. Fred. So, I'm going to address the paving driveways. Yeah. Anytime we do a road reconstruction job, we match driveways in so people can get out. And sometimes it means pinching in the driveway the length of this podium. Sometimes you got to go in 50 feet. But if we, you know, mess up your driveway, I'm going to fix it. And Deerhaven, especially going in, the ones on the left, those people were terrific because we built the road up over a foot and really made their steep driveway steeper. And I thought it was our due diligence to at least match the pavement down as far as it took. Um, I don't know how many driveways up there, but I think out of all those driveways, Guys Lane driveways that we had to match in, we spent about $4,500 fixing aprons and things like that. I don't think that was that bad. So we don't go around paving private driveways. We repair the driveways like we always have, and we go by them and we, you know, mess them up. So you're matching them up to the you road level with right. the swale. So sometimes you build it up. you got to carry, we'll carry the gravel down to where it makes an easy transition. And then we'll make the pavement go down and key it in, you know. That's what we do. And a couple of them up there were wide driveways. Geez, they were the width of this room or wider. So you got to go that whole apron, you know what I mean? Which is no different than we've ever done. And... Uh, I think this particular road, River Road, is one that's been talked about for years. It's a huge project, and we need to figure out a way to work on it. I don't think taking our 400 grand a year for the next five years and not tending any other road is the answer. So I think 
as a town, we need to maybe get our heads together and come up with something. But is that about 10 miles or is it 8 miles? Nine and a half, I was told. <coughs> I plowed it for 100 years and I never did check my odometer, I guess, but um, some of it needs to be shimmed and overlaid. I'm going to do a little piece on the north end this year, the, the, uh, or I plan to if things pass. A part that we put a lot of money into and it's starting to fall apart. It's got a good sub base. We got mountain lean gravel under it and everything. And I'm just going to put an inch of pavement over it to preserve it for another 10, 15 years. But some of it needs to be reclaimed. Some of it can be shimmed and overlaid. We're probably looking at a million bucks to fix it up right, you know? And that's just fix it, not actually totally reclaim it. Right. I think the hill needs to be reclaimed. Mm -hmm. But with the nature of the traffic, if you don't go 24 feet wide and 4 inches thick, you might as well not do it at all. Mm -hmm. So that adds to our usual 22, inch, 22 feet wide and 3 inches thick. That's a huge addition. So This isn't unusual for people to be unhappy when their road doesn't get done, but I just wanted to make light that this isn't really a true statement. So. Well, that's why we didn't read it in, in public when we received We all received that same letter. Okay. And we were, yeah. oftentimes, our practice has been under correspondence to read these. Okay. But because there was no identifiable person, yeah. we thought it would be best to have Naomi give it to you yeah. and allow you to respond. So thank you for coming. And, and well, I appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. I just uh, <coughs> wish people would give me a chance to. You know, I get along with all of you, and I hope to re retire here someday. I'm sure in the next 30 years, there'll be somebody on the side of the table that isn't my best friend, and that's just something that can fuel a fire. That's not true. It's one thing if I really did something wrong, but I wish they would. But they have the right to. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other department head or committee items? Anybody get to any of that? The approval of minutes of February 27th. Thank you. I've got a bunch of little things. Did you get my markups already, too? Uh, I don't know that I shared them with anybody. You only said I forwarded them. Did I? Did I? Did I? No, I, I, I think you only forwarded them. No? Okay, yeah. sorry. All right, go ahead. Okay, uh, page one. Paragraph that stats the current locker room. Last sentence, I just changed the word had to have. The locker room will have. And then if you skip a paragraph, go down to the one that stats Chief Kelly added. Uh, and added the shared locker room, added the D to shared, and crossed out the word which. So it reads, Chief Kelly added the shared locker space can be uncomfortable for the officers. Any, that's all I had on page one. So on the same first paragraph, I had the same edit you did in the last sentence, but on the first sentence, I want to take out A before shared and bath, take out bath. So it would say, the current locker room is off the kitchen while the women's locker room is in the toilet room, which is shared outside the kitchen area. Is the bathroom is the toilet room? No, it's a toilet room. Is there one? Mm -hmm. Is the shower? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bathroom. <laughs> and then the paragraph. Oh yeah, you got it about the share. The last sentence in that paragraph, though, I, I want to break it up and put a period after gender and a capital I on it. It's two separate thoughts. I'm sorry, which paragraph was that? Keith? The one up from the, the second to the last paragraph. So I'll read it. He added, when officers are running through the door to take calls on a shift, all too often one gender <coughs> or the other is carrying their boots and gear down the hallway to get dressed because their locker room is occupied by the opposite gender, period. And then it does not service the community well. And then the last paragraph, I don't think Jan Snyder suggested a space study. I did. So I wanted to say <laughs> resident Jan, 
to say <laughs> resident Jan Snyder agreed, comma, and selectman Jennifer Bull encouraged the study. So I would take out a suggested <coughs> space study while. Anybody have anything else on page one? <coughs> Page two, about a third of the way down the sentence that starts the police department considered giving up, and then I just a uh, change required to, as well as requiring instruct, uh, requiring construction. What requires change. I just added an ing. I guess it would work either way. And then further down, the uh, we've got the word police scattered through here where we should have policy. So where it starts. Uh, where it says Mr. Butt wanted to address the audio video policy draft and then further on the same line change police to policy and at the end of the next line change police to policy and then in the last sentence uh, the town attorney's opinion was that video recordings do not need so R becomes the do and needed becomes needed. That's what I had on that page. Um, I had, it says the board will do another walkthrough. I thought it was just Naomi with Kurt Lara. Or somebody. Sure. Right. Yeah. The town. Say it again. I want to say the town instead of board. I thought it was Naomi, yeah. I thought it was the town administrator. Where are you? Uh, about halfway discussion? through down the page. Oh, okay, board. I get it. We'll do another walkthrough. I, I nine reached nine out one. to Did you? the suggested. Yeah, I don't have an answer for you tonight, but I guess it was my understanding that I would take him through. My yeah. understanding okay. too. The town administrator instead of board. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I had a change in the first um, paragraph. The last line says, well, the last sentence, he felt this could be temporary until the community decides what they want to do with the building. I want to add a comma. And allow time for the CIP process to look at renovation or expansion of existing space or find new space, period. instead of the CIP process to renovate, expand, improve. The CIP process doesn't do no. that. Right. Anyone else have anything on page two? Mm -hmm. uh, just clarification under town administrator's report. It says town administrator Bolton uh, has the deed for repurchase. Uh, needed something in there. I put in a, of a deeded property. I don't know if that's the proper phrasing or not, but I think we needed something. The deed for repurchase uh, of a deeded property? I put of land deeded to the town for non payment of property taxes. Yeah, that's so better. It will be discussed in the yeah. public session. Yeah, that's better than mine. All I had. And on the bottom of page three, the last paragraph, um, Chairman Lacasse suggested that John Turner inspect the work when it is, and I'm going to add, when it is completed, comma, and write a field report. And then take out the last sentence and replace it with, he further suggested that final payment only be released after John Turner's field report and any noted deficiencies are corrected by the contractor. Rather than just saying if there is a problem with the contractor. They're very similar. Yeah. Move to approve the February 27th minutes as amended. All in favor? Aye. Aye.
Ricky is there at three. Mm -hmm. I move we order the treasurer to sign the payroll and accounts payables check dated March 9, 2017, as included in the following manifests. Payroll manifest $49,106.11 for weekly payroll, including payroll taxes, and accounts payable manifest <coughs> of $87,212.13 for a total of $136,315.24. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Administrative report. Yeah, I added, um, just so we don't lose any shuffle, I did add the town hall doors. Uh, these listing quotes I've not done yet for installation prices. Um, and then the creating of the new policy, I just noted there that the cable committee is kind of going to take it and run. Candidates night um, is Wednesday night, just for anybody that's listening. I will have it on the town hall sign tomorrow morning, and it'll stay on there. It's tomorrow night, I mean, sorry, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock at the town hall, the old town hall. Is there, a, is there a time that it ends? Yeah. I'm only when going no more than an hour and a half. When the candidates run out of breath? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I have spoken to Doug, and they're going to um, come over and videotape it. The locker room, I've reached out to Kurt. I haven't got you an answer for tonight. Um, and the other thing is elections is Tuesday, next Tuesday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Ware Middle School. Um, Jack and Tom, Maureen's got you kind of for the day. Keith had a change of plans. Yeah. Keith's going to come in when he can, and Ricky's going to come in after work, and Jennifer's going to stand outside. <laughs> in the cold. You're out in the cold. It's going to be beautiful that day. Okay. Well, hopefully the, rest it will week, be. the rest of the week is normal. I just want to also share with you that I'm going to be picking up the mailers and the town reports on Thursday. The mailers will go in so that next Monday everybody will have their mailer for the weekend, and next Monday is our kind of call-in time. But we'll work our agenda into that as well. And the town reports will be available as well. And is that going to set at 7 or 6.30? Uh, 6.30 with coffee. I call it an informal coffee social. And 6.30, we used to do it for an hour. And we're going to do it for half an hour. And then we'll start a regular meeting at 7, which is a phone in in between our meeting to answer questions. That's also printed in the mailer. And that's all I have to offer. So the mailers will be in the mail? In the mail Thursday. I'm going to take them over. Thursday? Yep. Okay. We are back at public comment. Seeing none. Did you want to mention that the messenger will have um, information on the candidates running? Yeah, I. For somehow we got lost. Um, everybody else is around us was in there, but I mean I've reached out to Lee and I've reached out to the candidates. Jan didn't have an email, but the rest of them I've actually got one already back with a picture and just a little blurb about was why you're running. running. What? Does it ban? No. No. He hasn't done his. Um, you know, just a little bit about yourself. If you guys take a messenger and look at it, it kind of gives you a little bit of rundown about yourself, why you're running, kind of your background of community work, and just a, a picture if you can. So if I could have those for Wednesday, which Jan said she could do that, I've already got one. I could pass them off to Lee and he can include them in Fridays. I've also invited him to come to candidates tonight if he wants to take his own snapshots. <laughs> Any correspondence? Any other business? We don't have a non public. No, I did it. Okay, I move we adjourn. Second. All in favor? All right. Hi. It's a good thing we're not going to be paid by the hour.